Nigerian preacher in blue jeans and I am here in Davao enjoying the beach and enjoying this wonderful beautiful place. You know what? I'm thinking about what it means to keep on growing in the Lord. What does it mean to change? I've got a story for you, and I'm sure you know this story because the, the you know, you read it in emails, and uh, it's a charming story. And I used to like the story a lot. I'll tell you later on why I don't like it anymore. But here's the story. Charming. There was this big businessman, and he took a vacation in a tiny fishing village. And as he was walking, he sees these, this poor man fishing with one single uh, fishing pole. And so he asked the man, what are you doing? And, you know, this poor guy says, well, I'm, I'm fishing. I'm, I'm enjoying the sun and the sea and the breeze, and I'm fishing. And so the, the businessman said, that's pretty inefficient. And the fisherman said, why? Well, you know, uh, wh why not? Why not just put a lot of fishing poles and, and get more fish uh, in the same time. You know, and the fisherman said, wow, I, I didn't think of that. But, but you know what? I only need a few fish for, for, for lunch and for dinner for my family. What will I do with the extra fish? And the businessman said, oh, you could sell it in the market. And then after that, you could buy a boat and buy a net and catch more fish. And the fisherman said, wow. And then what will I do? Oh, after that, you sell more fish and you buy more boats and you buy more nets. And then after that, you can hire trucks and have it delivered all over in different parts of the city. Wow. And then what will I do? And then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to export it in other cities and then other countries. And then after that, you're going to make it so big it's going to be a multinational company, you know. And, and, and then you're going to make it public. Wow, the, the fisherman said. And then what it'll do after that? After that, you sell the business to another company and you retire a very rich man. And the fisherman said, whoa. And then what will I do after that? After that, you can be in a fishing village like this and enjoy the sea and the sun and the breeze and fish the whole day. And the poor man, you know, raised his eyebrow and said, but that's what I'm doing right now. Now, you, you, you read that story. I read that story and I said, wow, that's true. That has so much logic. I mean, why go through all that, you know, when, when, you, when you can make that decision and say, I can enjoy life right now. Well, the problem is this. When you think about it, what if God gave that fisherman the resources, the courage, the love, the ability, the gifts to be able to grow, to be able to expand? Wouldn't he? Wouldn't he be able to hire people, feed their families, feed more customers, bless more people? You see, the question is not whether you've enjoyed life the most. The question is whether you loved the most. I hope I'm making sense here, that it's not so much, you know, enjoying life and fishing. At the end of the day, the major question of life is, what have you done to bless the world? Playing small serves no one. Let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, if you want us to grow, and if you want us to develop, and if you want us to expand, so that we can love more and bless more people, then so be it. Here we are, Lord. We ask you to use us. We ask you to use all of us to serve you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You know what? If you want to join a beautiful spiritual family that's virtual, non-physical, and get a mountain load of spiritual blessings every day, daily emails, I want you to log on at www.charigmafamily.com and be part of this virtual happy family and be very blessed. This is Bo Sanchez here in Preacher in Blue Jeans, still here in Davao, enjoying the beach, nourishing her soul every day. I will see you tomorrow.
Thank you so much for your monthly tithes and love offering to the Rigmo family, without which this broadcast won't be possible. We know that God will reward you abundantly for your generosity. God bless you.